He strangled his wife to death the day before she planned to cut him out of her will. Today, he was sentenced to life behind bars. I sentenced Mr. Coblin to 25 years to life. 45-year-old Roderick Coughlin almost got away with murder. His wealthy wife, Shelly, was found dead in the bathtub in her luxury Manhattan apartment on New Year's Eve 2009, 10 years ago. Prosecutors say Coughlin sneaked into her apartment and beat and strangled her to death, then put her body in the bathtub to make her death look like an accidental drowning, all so he could inherit her $5 million fortune. He succeeded in fooling the authorities for years until family pressure led to her body being exhumed. The case is being called a real-life Legally Blonde, minus the laughs. In Legally Blonde, a killer claims she was in the shower when her father was murdered, but her lie is exposed when she admits she had a perm that same day. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm? I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. <laughs> The day before her murder, Shelly Kovlin had a keratin hair treatment to get rid of frizz and smooth out her hair. You're not supposed to get your hair wet for three days. So what was she doing in the bathtub? There were emotional statements by the dead woman's brothers and sisters. The helplessness that she must have felt along with panic and terror, knowing death was imminent despite her valiant effort to fight back. He is an evil predator in every sense of those two words. The only emotion the killer showed was when his mother read a statement from his teenage daughter, defending her dad, insisting it was an accidental drowning. My mom slipped, hit her head, fell unconscious and drowned just like the medical examiner said when he found her. Kovlin was led out of court in handcuffs as his wife's family celebrated the final chapter of a 10-year saga. I get to finally exhale. Thank you.